that you come from uh, San Antonio, um, coming to Fort Worth, you had to go past Baylor and all these other yeah. schools, man. How, how excited are you that you felt like you made the right decision to come to Fort Worth to TCU? Uh, I feel like I made the best decision for me, you know. Um, uh, I really didn't have an offer from Baylor or anything like that, you know. It was just something that I had to, uh, you know, just just do. You know. Who did you talk to when you know when you guys found out y'all were up in the polls and the next week Ohio State coming there? I'm pretty sure somebody in the family you had to talk to say, man, why this happened? Was it mom, grandma, family? Who gave you the encouragement? Say, hey, don't worry, son, go play your game and, and at the Peach Bowl and get ready for next year. Uh, my parents actually did. You know, everybody, everybody questioned why it would happen. You know, but it's out of our control. So I mean, we just uh, practice hard and prepare for Minnesota. This I mean, time. This time you guys have a great opportunity to, hey, start a brand new season. You, you go undefeated, you go to the Cotton Bowl. Mm. And that's the playing game. Is that on the top priority? I mean, I know you, you talk about Minnesota, but it's like, hey, I got another chance, man. We yeah. can do this, you know. Yeah, that's everybody's dream. That's the dream, you know, to uh, make it all the way. But uh, at the same time, you, you always got to take it game by game because you can't, can't look over any opponent. Can you talk about your quarterback down there? I mean, you see that whole crowd of media down there. And, I mean, you know, this guy, he waited his turn, everything. And, you know, I mean, what, what does it mean for to have him on your team and how you guys bond together? I mean, it's great. You know, me and him are actually roommates. So um, it's just great to have a guy like him that's going to take that role, that took that role and became that guy and prepare. he prepares well every, each and every week. And, you know, he's mentally tough, physically tough, and he doesn't back down from anything. So. Eric, you, you had such a rapid climb last year. You're, the two years before, he was good. Mm -hmm. It wasn't what we saw last year. What changed? I mean, I know you changed offenses, mm -hmm. but what do you feel like changed with him to sort of see that rapid ascent? I feel like, just like him, a lot of guys grew up. We all grew up. You know, we're going to be seniors next year, so, I mean, this year coming up, so it's just a lot of growing up as as a team. Do, do you think that the spread suit him better, maybe, than what you guys were doing previously? Um, I'm not sure about that, you know, I'll play defense, but uh, I'm pretty sure it did something with uh, something right. <laughs> right. Seemed to fit him, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of this defense, obviously, you're probably the only returner kind of center of the field. All the guys, linebackers, and other defensive backs. How do you guys overcome that? We just let Coach B handle that. You know, he determines who who plays, everything like that. And I got full faith in him that he will do his job like he always does. Are you surprised that we are here for the possible two freshmen? At least one of them. Hey, if he could, if they could play, then they could play, you know, because he, cause he knows what he's doing. What is the uh, last year, obviously, the disappointment of being left out of the playoffs in the whole game performance? How much did, did that kind of motivate or push you guys toward this year? Kind of getting, getting that disappointment out of the way and having that kind of performance and then kind of pushing ahead of this year? I mean, it was, it was, kind of, it was a bummer not getting in, but, I, but um, we just had to – we had a meeting that next day or whatever, and like um, we just had to blow it over our shoulder and had to prepare. You couldn't, you couldn't uh, dwell on it, you know. So how much of though is that? Can you let it be a motivating factor this year? Do you just completely forget about it? I mean, what's what's the line there? Of remembering it or forgetting it? Uh, I feel like forgetting it would be the best option for us because once for one, we don't have the same team as we did last year. We lost a lot of guys on defense. And two, it's a new season, so uh, anything can happen, you know. Can you talk about the talent in this area? You got, like, Desmond White coming out of DeSoto. You guys got a lot of talent with all this area. And then, of course, the impact of being in Fort Worth at Amon G. Carter. What is it like being with the uh, two CU fans? Because it seems like you guys have given this city a lot of hope now. Yeah, our, our fans, I really love our fans because they come no matter what, you know. Um, Rain, whatever they come in. Coach P, he really loves to uh, recruit guys in Texas, but mostly in the DFW area. So, you know, Coach P, he 
he likes to keep the talent in, uh, in Dallas for her. Because this region has put out a lot of state champions. We've yeah. got DeSoto, Cedar Hill, and all these schools, Allen mm -hmm. around here. I mean, there's enough talent in this part of North Texas yeah. that you can keep in this part yeah. of the city, you know? Yes, yeah, and that's what, that's really, I feel like that's what he focuses on. All the championships that's been made in high school are mostly around here. So. We, uh, we look at your schedule last year. It seemed like it was really front-end loaded. You look at the schedule this year, it seems like it's a lot back, more back-end loaded. Do you prefer to have that front-end loaded, or do you prefer to have it back-end loaded, or does it really matter to you guys at all? Uh, I feel like it doesn't really matter to us. You know, I feel like uh, it was more front-end loaded because a lot of teams, I mean, a lot of people didn't expect us to do as well as we did. So now they're, they're trying to put all the teams in the back because they expect us to do as good as we are, like what we did last year. So. You know, talk about that six-day turnaround you have to finish your season, the tough trip to Manhattan, and then come back and face the Bears. Mm -hmm. Say it again. You want to talk about that last six days of your season you have there, the tough trip you got to take up to Kansas State and play, then come back and play the Bears to finish. Uh, you know, we have to, you have to prepare the same week, same way every week. So I mean, it's just not, it's not really a factor right now. It's just focusing on Minnesota. Thanks, Dan. How do you feel about?